Welcome to today's media briefing. The speakers today are Dr. Albert Al, Principal Medical and Health Officer of the CHP, and Dr. Lau Kahin, Chief Manager of the Hospital Authority. The doctors will tell us the latest situation of um, the COVID cases and also the HA. Dr. Al, please. Media friends and members uh, of the public, um, good afternoon. Sorry for the late start today. Now I'm going to report to you the cases reported on the 29th of June, that was uh, yesterday. Yesterday, for locally infected cases, there were 2,196 cases, including 823 positive cases confirmed via PCR and 1,373 cases confirmed via RAT and then confirmed by PCR test. And also, there were 162 imported cases, including 123 confirmed via PCR and 36 confirmed via RAT. The total number in the fifth wave is 1,233,166 positive cases. There were two new deaths yesterday. So far, the death toll in the fifth wave in Hong Kong is 9,188 cases. Dr. Lau, please tell us about the hospital authorities' situation. Good afternoon. There are 692 patients uh, receiving in in hospital treatments. 115 are new patients. For those who need to um, be hospitalized in uh, isolation wards, 330, 331 are in our first tier, tier one uh, ward, 20 in our second tier ward, and 221 uh, patients are in the North Lantau Infection Control Center. Altogether, 90 are new patients. Yesterday, an additional patient was uh, reported to be in critical condition and one patient in serious condition. At present, among the inpatients, there are 12 critical and 13 serious patients, among which three critical patients are in ICU for treatment. And there are also new reports of two um, patients who passed away uh, yesterday. They were both a female aged 85 and 98 years, and they were both um, residential care home uh, residents. In terms of vaccination record, um, one deceased patient had two doses and one was not vaccinated. So the, for the 85-year-old deceased female, she had chronic illnesses and was residing Or rather, she um, was not mobile and she could not communicate and relied on um, long-term um, care. And she also had dementia. On the 29th of May, she was tested positive on RAT. And on the 12th of June, um, the results already uh, turned negative And she did not check into hospital. For the recent hospitalization, it was because her deteriorating health at ANED um, it was found that her face uh, was asymmetric, and um, it was uh, diagnosed to be an acute uh, stroke. For the 98-year-old female disease patient, she was also a chronic patient. She had a um, colon cancer a record. The reason hospitalization was because of coughing. Upon hospitalization, it was found that uh, she was a, a positive patient. Her situation deteriorated, and she passed away yesterday. So, um, Dr. Lau, please. Uh, Dr. Ao. Thank you, Dr. Lau. I will continue reporting um, cases uh, yesterday. Among the 162 imported cases, 74 were identified as the temporary sem uh, specimen collection uh, center at the airport. 70 were confirmed uh, during hotel quarantine, and the remaining 18 uh, were identified to be positive uh, after quarantine. For residential care homes, we have um, seven reports from, uh, from um, care homes, including two care homes 
uh, for elderly people and five um, care homes uh, for people with disability. For the um, elderly care home, uh, there were two staff and two uh, residents. For the um, PWD um, care home, uh, there were five um, staff and two uh, residents. The first one is uh, the Wang Dai Xin Qi uh, Hua, uh, elderly home for the care, uh, for the elderly uh, care home for the elderly people. Um, the resident uh, was tested positive on in, hosp uh, in hospital, and uh, he went he went out on the twenty third of June. And four uh, residents uh, are classified as a close contact. The second one is um, the St Joseph um, elderly care home. Um, two elderly, two uh, care staff um, have tested positive. Um, the onset was twenty eighth, and also um, the staff members last work on the twenty eighth. Uh, some 20 um, residents have been list, uh, classified as um, close contacts. For a PWD a care home, that is um, the Yi Lok uh, Training Center for um, Adults uh, in uh, the South District. Um, the carer was tested uh, positive on the 20th and, and the 27th, and uh, he last worked on the 20th, and uh, seven uh, staff members are also classified as close contacts. The second one is uh, the Eastern um, Yunang uh, Association at Chai Wan Home, uh, a care a care staff uh, which uh, who have who has been uh, vaccinated uh, with three doses um, was tested positive and he last uh, worked on the twenty eighth. Seven staff and five residents are classified as close contacts. The third one is the South District Tongwa Group of Hospital Jockey Club Jin Yin uh, Day Activity Center and a Kam Hostel. A care staff uh, has been tested positive. His family members uh, were also tested positive on the 27th, and he last worked on the 27th as well. There were there are 12 residents uh, classified as close contacts. The fourth one is the Sha Tin and Nei Yi Yan San Zhong. One assistant uh, is tested positive with three doses uh, of vaccination. He has no symptoms, and the 28th um, RAT test uh, returned positive, and one resident is a close contact. The last one is the Kowloon City uh, Yunang Association at uh, Seng Hong Yun. One care staff is tested positive, and the onset was uh, the 29th, and he was tested positive on the same date. For the floor, uh, which he uh, is responsible for, uh, one resident also tested uh, positive on the 29th uh, via PCR with no symptoms. Uh, six residents in the same room are classified as close contacts. In terms of uh, previous um, residential care homes uh, with outbreaks, yesterday uh, we mentioned the New Life Psychiatric Rehabilitation Association Pok Hong halfway house in Sha Tin. Um, there is one new case today uh, who is a resident. Uh, he is a close contact of a of the case uh, reported yesterday. On the same floor, there are three uh, residents uh, tested positive the remaining 30 residents on the same floor are classified as close contacts and require quarantine. The three patients are all workers are as the um, say at the uh, new new life um, Nam Chong uh, shelter uh, workshop, but they are working as different floors. And um, to be safe, we uh, e we have issued um, a compulsory testing notice um, as the uh, shelter workshop and all um, workers there are required um, PCR tests. So far, no new case um, ha has been found, and a thorough disinfection has been carried out. This morning, we have uh, 192 uh, cases from school uh, involving 148 schools, including 31 um, kg and uh, CCC, uh, 60 primary schools, uh, 60 secondary schools, and three special schools. In the past seven days, for schools with two or more cases, um, there are 133. One school has seen an um, outbreak in a class. That is um, uh, the uh, South Asian um, College uh, in Fanling. Uh, for uh, for a class uh, in secondary three, um, we have found uh, three cases, and uh, the uh, class has been suspended. Yesterday, we have found eight uh, BA.2.12.1 uh, BA uh, cases, including uh, cases with epidemiological links, with six untraceable and two being family members of these six cases. They live in uh, San Ging Chun uh, Kingwa House, and the other one lives in uh, Tin Yat Estate uh, Yat Ham House in Tin Shui Wai. The third patient lives in uh, Block 8 of um, 
on Thai estates in Quang Tong with uh, two cases. The four patients live in a wild house in Tien Hua estate in um, Tien Shui Wai. The um, other patients live in Wu uh, uh, estate, and the other one uh, lives at uh, Yi Geng Go with two cases. Yesterday, we have also discovered at uh, 28 uh, suspected BA.4 or 0.5 uh, cases, including 15 imported cases and nine untraceable uh, at present. And other patients uh, with epidemiological link uh, with the other patients. Of these nine cases with an identified source, they live in Timun Fu Thai Estate or Thai House. Second one, Shining Road. 439 Shining Road, Shining House, Shining Building. The third one, uh, Nathan Road, Hong Kiu Building. In the same unit in this building, there was a second case. Another one lives in Chen Chao Chung, Heng Street, 22B. Another one lives in Tin Shui Wai, Tin Chak Estate, Chak Fai House. And one lives in Xiu Sai Wan Estate, Shen Mun House. And one lives in uh, Discovery Bay, uh, Tou Shan Court. And one lives in Tin Hao Temple Road, 18A, Park Ho Shan, Block 5. And one lives in Ching Tai Estate, Chun Tai Court. And three cases are related to one of the cases yesterday that is at Shunning Building, Shunning Road, uh, epidemic, epidemic connected. These three cases uh, were related to the case 24th of June at night uh, Man Thai Wai Sik War in Kun Tong. They had uh, eaten there together. The restaurant uh, uh, insisted for mandatory testing. After a meal on 24th of June, uh, they became uh, symptomatic on 27th and 28th. Uh, we didn't find any other cases. We tried to find other cases for mand by mandatory testing. Just now, I, I uh, I misspoke about the two patients who passed away. They don't live with uh, live in residential homes. They live with uh, family members. Uh, past day, 89 members uh, uh, patients recovered. 75 were discharged. Second wave so far, five, five, uh, five, 59,700 all patients recovered. Um, 551,381 discharged since 20, early 2020. Uh, 64,384 patients recovered, 63,694 already discharged. Two patients uh, were uh, found to be positive on admission screening. Two patients in the same ward were listed as close contacts. On staff, 24,348 confirmed cases. Uh, uh, most of them have uh, gone back to work. And now question time. Please uh, uh, tell us about the agency that you work for first. This lady. TBB. Now there were 200, uh, uh, 28 cases uh, suspected BA4 or 5. Uh, now uh, how many had been infected with BA2? Now is it expected that more and more will be infected by BA4 or BA5? So even if they were infected in the fifth wave, they can be reinfected. Also, in connection with BA4, some say BA.4, 0.5, they are more infectious given Singapore's experience. In the next few weeks, the number in Hong Kong will rise very quickly. Will it be the beginning of the sixth wave? How will we assess that? Thank you for your question. The first question concerning BA45, uh, in the recent days, we found that there were more cases of unidentified sources of uh, BA4 or BA5. It's believed that in the community, there <coughs> is beginning to be this new uh, COVID variant in transmission. We now hope to find these cases and send the patients to isolation facilities and also their family members. Now, uh, from these cases, we don't find a second transmission. They are new infections. They, they had no record of being infected in the fifth wave, but we are monitoring closely. Scientific evidence currently shows BA4 or BA5 
uh, this Omicron uh, new variant, they are uh, higher in transmission than BA1 or BA2 Omicron. But there's no scientific evidence to indicate that they lead to more serious illness or higher chance of death. And on the other hand, there's preliminary evidence showing that BA4 or 5 uh, might uh, uh, lead. Uh, so PA, uh, people who were infected with BA1 or BA2, the antibodies generated may not be able to resist BA4 or BA5. But scientific also evidence also shows that after vaccination, uh, it would be effective against BA4 or BA5. Right now, a public health laboratory for each positive case, they will do preliminary genetic analysis, and they, it's detected that this new variant, called Omicron variant, now uh, we will also do 452 tests. If we, we find out, then it shows it may be BA4 or BA5. Now, these cases uh, out of our positive cases daily are still a small proportion, less than 1%. But we are still monitoring closely this BA4 or BA5, whether uh, the proportion would increase. Next question, the gentleman there, uh, Cable TV. Uh, why are you late today? Is it that the leader uh, came here and there was traffic jam? Now. Some scholars uh, projected that in quarantine hotels, for every one traveler in quarantine, there would be one transmission. Now, whether it's in quarantine uh, in hotels, BA4 or BA5, uh, the, uh, the tra there has been transmission into the community. Now, even if you uh, discard the quarantine arrangement, there wouldn't be much effect on the community. Now, uh, BA4, BA5, there are more and more uh, cases of unidentified source in this uh, transmission in community. Now. Uh, is there a chance of uh, community uh, outbreak? Now, uh, five years ago, the, uh, 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 now uh, the, the, the patient uh, uh, in uh, uh, who, due to an internal organ failure uh, uh, yesterday uh, passed away. Uh, so, uh, so for this child's uh, uh, father, they uh, 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 taking the hospital authority to court. Uh, is there any staff who would be taken uh, into for uh, to be uh, taken into account? Who be to taken into account? Now, uh, sorry for being late today. Now, on quarantine hotels, you now in the past there were cases of transmission within quarantine hotels, uh, but those were very rare incidents. If we find that there was uh, uh, those who completed quarantine and they went into the community and the CT value might be low, uh, uh, we would see whether there is a chance of transmission within the quarantine hotels. So pre on prevention of import cases, uh, the quarantine hotels uh, play an important role. They can prevent imported new variants. Uh, being uh, transmitted in the community. Now, apart from quarantine in quarantine hotels, uh, arriving passengers uh, in Hong Kong, in the first seven days, every day, there would be tests, which is very important. Now, if there is an imported case uh, that t tested positive only after Hong Kong, arrival in Hong Kong, then we can find out early and isolate them early to prevent an outbreak in the community. Now, BA.4 and BA.5 situation, we will monitor c carefully, uh, mainly because uh, these variants, they are maybe of higher transmissibility. Now, if they transmit in uh, community, that uh, it, uh, it might be uh, of higher transmission than in the fifth wave. So we are monitoring closely. We are adopting stringent measures. If we find these cases, we try as much as possible to send the patient into is isolation facilities to prevent further transmission in community. And we are finding some cases of an identified source. It might have to do with imported cases or 
people who work in uh, airport, but we couldn't find any linkage. So, but we think that there might be transmission chain in the community. The outbreak, uh, the chance of outbreak, the risk of outbreak uh, does exist. We will monitor to see whether there will be more of these cases. Concerning uh, the child's uh, passing away, we feel very sorry. Uh, we uh, uh, convey our deep regards to the uh, family members. Uh, Queen Mary Hospital uh, staff has uh, uh, communicated with the parents to provide all the needed help. Now, uh, all along, uh, uh, close uh, care and uh, uh, communications have been maintained uh, with the family uh, members. Now, the case is in uh, legal proceedings, so we will not respond further on this. Next question, please, the lady over there. Good afternoon. I'm from Now TV. Now, concerning the uh, Fan Lang um, um, salvation um, school, uh, there is an outbreak. So, how large uh, is the outbreak? And what about uh, the class uh, with an outbreak? Did the class um, conduct um, any activities involving taking off of masks, or was it because of the um, ventilation uh, systems uh, in the classroom, uh, which led to the outbreak. Concerning BA.4 and 5 cases, are they related to the um, manager um, who came down with the illness uh, working at the uh, Nina Hotel, Gosway Bay? Thank you for your questions. Concerning the uh, school's uh, outbreak in the past week, We have identified a total of six cases. Three cases were from uh, the same class, that is uh, the three uh, LY class. The class has uh, 27 um, students. Since uh, three out of the 27 students uh, have been infected, we believe that uh, there is an outbreak um, in that class um, in the Kaoyan College. So um, suspension has been advised for the class. If um, outbreak is identified uh, as other classes, uh, we will also um, act accordingly. This morning, all other uh, results um, returned negative um, for teachers as well. Concerning BA.4 and 5 cases, we will continue our epidemiological investigation. So we haven't found any um, epidemiological links uh, between um, today, today's cases and uh, previous cases. And so far, no cases are related to the Nina Hotel Causeway Bay case. The next question, uh, the lady over there. Good afternoon, doctors. I'm from Ming Pao Daily. About the BA.4 and 5 um, infection, now Oi Thai House at Fu Thai House, at Hu Thai Estate, and a sh uh, Shunning uh, Building. Um, we are seeing unidentified or untraceable cases. Do you think uh, there are infections um, in these two buildings? Yesterday, uh, there were four untraceable cases concerning this strain. Today, uh, we have um, nine cases with um, some from Changzhou. So how would you um, assess the uh, level of outbreak concerning the uh, subvariant? Have we identified the similarities uh, between um, the uh, infections with um, a certain imported case? In total, how many BA.4 or 0.5 uh, suspected um, cases are locally infected? How many um, genome sequencing have been? Uh, how many samples have received a genome sequencing? Now, um, Dr. Hong Fan uh, said that. Um, in winter, we should all uh, keep our mask on and uh, get uh, influenza jab. And these are not needed uh, in summer. So what do you think? Consider considering the uh, present situation, is it uh, fine for us to not wear a mask in summer, in, during summer? Thank you. Concerning the uh, BA.4.5 um, infected uh, buildings, for the untraceable cases today, no other, no infection is found in other flags in the same building. One building is the uh, Hong Q building in Nathan Road. 
The other person living with the patient in the same unit was also infected, while the other cases are um, individual cases. We would issue um, CTN against these buildings to prevent um, an outbreak in the building. And uh, residents in the building would be subject to a uh, compulsory test. For BA.2, 12.1 cases that previously, uh, when uh, we issued a CTN, we usually uh, found uh, more cases in the building. So we would keep, uh, keep monitoring the situation. For the uh, Shunning building, we have found three cases with links with the patient. They are not living together. They did have meal together, and they took off their mask. So uh, they are close contacts. In terms of genome sequencing concerning the cases, we would perform um, analysis to see whether the um, gene, sequence, gene sequences are similar. For some cases, uh, the, uh, anal uh, the uh, analysis is still ongoing. So we haven't found any um, links between uh, existing BA.4 and 0.5 cases, and um, the genome sequences are not similar. So we believe that um, they are infected in the community. For um, cases uh, who work at the uh, Sky City in um, the, uh, Sky City um, as the airport, um, we may not be able to find the source of the infection. It may be that the uh, patients who work at the airport have come into contact with infected uh, travelers, and we are not able to um, get a sample from those um, travelers. And also, we do have a transmission chains in the community, and we are seeing a high uh, level of cases. So people should keep your mask on and um, maintain um, all the measures. We are returning to normal, but uh, still, we have to um, get prepared uh, in case uh, there is another outbreak. Is there any other question? Any um, reporter who hasn't asked a question? The lady over there. Hi, I'm from Hong Kong Economic Times. Concerning BA.4 and 0.5 uh, subvariants, does the CHP think that we have missed uh, some imported cases? That's why uh, there is a community outbreak. outbreak. Do you think we have to tighten the, uh, the measures? Concerning the deceased 85-year-old female, you said um, she was tested positive on RAT on the 29th of May. So that was a month ago. So is her was her death uh, related to COVID? In terms of um, Jade Garden and Victoria Harbour restaurants, um, do we have no um, no more cases? Do you think um, the outbreak has ended? Thank you for your questions. First, about uh, BA.4 and 0.5, all locally uh, found cases uh, with these variants must be related to imported cases because we did not have such cases. It was only uh, one or two months ago uh, when uh, these uh, variants uh, began to um, become common uh, in foreign places. And also we have uh, some family clusters uh, related to imported cases, including two cases uh, which were tested positive uh, on the ninth day uh, in the community after uh, the hotel quarantine period. And they returned home and got uh, family members infected. That would be possible because uh, for some cases the uh, latent period is longer, so maybe um, they were left undetected. Still, um, our um, immigration um, measures and our quarantine measures are sufficient to uh, guard against uh, imported cases. Most cases are found at the airport or during hotel quarantine period. So it has uh, significantly reduced the uh, risk of um, the uh, virus entering the community. Of course, um, nothing is um, um, uh, is uh, completely uh, foolproof, so we will do our best to minimize the uh, risk. And we have found no new cases from uh, Victoria Harbour Restaurant and Jade Garden. CDNs have been issued 
um, I believe that uh, most uh, patients have, um, uh, most uh, customers uh, have got tested and uh, they have been tested negative. Well, that uh, 85 year old lady now on 29th of May, RAT positive, and then 12th of June, RAT negative. Now, when she was last admitted on the 13th, uh, she felt unwell, so she said. Now, this time uh, she was admitted mainly because uh, she had brain hemorrhage. Uh, that's the preliminary uh, diagnosis uh, for her stroke, reason for her stroke. Uh, now, uh, first time uh, there was a PCR test, it was negative on admission. Uh, several days later, it's done again. CD value is very high, uh, over 40. At the time, uh, it was confirmed that it's the residual virus from the previous occasion. Now, this time she was admitted mainly because of her stroke. For the real reason, we don't have much information. We estimate that it may not be closely related to COVID. Uh, thank you for attending.